Today we are looking at Belmarsh Prison's most notorious inmates. Like Wakefield Prison and the other prisons we have previously covered, Belmarsh is a Category A men's prison. It's based in London and opened in 1991. So let's get into Belmarsh Prison's most notorious current and former inmates. 1. Stephen Port 48-year-old Stephen Port is serving three whole-life sentences in Belmarsh Prison. Port would meet his victims on social media platforms, Grindr specifically. On his social media platforms, he would create fake bios about himself, mainly his occupation, and pretended he was more accomplished than reality. His first victim was 23-year-old Anthony Walgate. On June 17, 2014, Port met up with Anthony and then drugged him. He proceeded to take his life. He placed Anthony's body outside of his own flat and rang an ambulance, giving no name, saying there was a young man who seemed drunk lying on the pavement. Any evidence linking Port to Anthony's murder was missed by the police. Port did tell the police many different stories relating to the crime and was charged with perverting the course of justice in 2015. He was given eight months and was released and put on tag. He had three other victims. Gabriel Kovari, 22, had moved to London from Slovakia and briefly lived with Port. 21-year-old Daniel Whitworth from Kent and 25-year-old Jack Taylor from Dagenham. Port used social media to contact them and drugged all of them. Port placed a fake note alongside the body of Daniel Whitworth that suggested he was responsible for taking the life of Gabriel Kavari and that Daniel Whitworth had OD'd himself out of guilt. All the victims were found around the area of Stephen Port's flat. The Met Police launched no murder investigation and did not connect the murders as they believed all had died of an OD. A policeman who had no experience in investigation went on to look at CCTV and that's where he saw Stephen Port with Jack Taylor. It was due to family and friends of the victims constantly pushing the police to investigate that made the police finally catch Port although there was gloom and evidence in the first place. Stephen Port denied all charges, but at the Old Bailey on the 25th of November 2016, he was sentenced to life imprisonment with a whole life order. In total, 11 men were found to be victims of Port and the Met Police gave compensation to the victims' families because of their poor handling of the investigation. In July 2020, it was announced that a fresh inquiry was set to take place to examine all four murders and probe into any police failings. Stephen Port has appealed his conviction, but they have been rejected. The 48-year-old remains in Belmarsh Prison. 2. Richard Huckle Richard Huckle was arrested by Britain's National Crime Agency in 2014 after a tip-off from the Australian Federal Police and was convicted in 2016 of 71 charges of offences against children. Richard Huckle posed as a Christian teacher and a freelance photographer in Malaysia where these offences were committed. In 2016, he was sentenced to life imprisonment with a min term of 25 years. He first served his time at Belmarsh but was then moved to Full Sutton Prison where his life was taken by another prisoner, Paul Fitzgerald. 3. Michael Ada Bellagio On May 2013, British Army soldier Lee Rigby was attacked and killed by Islamic terrorists Michael Ada Bellagio and Michael Ada Bouali. They informed public at the scene that they murdered Lee Rigby to avenge Muslims killed by the British military. On the 19th of December 2013, both of the murderers were found guilty of Lee Rigby's murder. In Feb 2014, they were sentenced to life imprisonment. Michael Adeb Bellagio was given a whole life order and Adeb Bouali was ordered to serve at least 45 years. He appealed his sentence but it was rejected. He still serves his time in Belmarsh today. 4. Paul Ballard 
Paul Ballard was a British television host known as Des. He is probably best known for his Saturday morning kids show, Dig It. His last acting role was in 2002. In Feb 2020, he caused an eight car pileup in Essex, which resulted in the death of two people. On the 14th of July, he pleaded guilty to two charges of causing death by dangerous driving. He was sentenced to nine years in prison. In July 2021, he was also found guilty of R, attempted R, assault, criminal damage and threats to kill after an incident at a hotel in Hatfield Heath in 2020. He serves his sentence at Belmarsh Prison today. 5. Daniel Khalif Daniel Khalif was a British Army soldier. He was a network engineer serving with the Royal Corps of Signals. In 2021, he was arrested for terrorism offences. He left canisters with wires and he accessed the Joint Personnel Administration to elicit personal information about soldiers. The police stated, likely to be useful to a person committing or preparing an act of terrorism. In January 2023, he was charged with terror and explosive offences. While awaiting his trial, he was placed in Category B, Wandsworth Prison. On the 6th of September 2023, Khalif escaped from the prison in southwest London where he is being held. He had been working in the prison kitchen and was wearing a chef's uniform. The Met Police believe that Khalif escaped by hiding beneath a food delivery van using a material which was made from bed sheets with clips at each end. By 7.50am they had locked down the prison. At 8.37am police stopped the food van in East Putney and discovered strapping possibly made from bed sheets beneath the vehicle. This clearly sparked a huge police search and additional security checks at British airports and ports. The Met Police said that 150 officers were involved in the search in addition to police from other forces and members of the border force. On the 8th of September, a reward of up to 20,000 was offered for information leading to Khalif's arrest. He was eventually found on the 9th of September, being pulled off a bike by plainclothes police. He was found in North Holt, West London. Khalif pleaded not guilty to escape him from lawful custody. He still denies those offences and is due to stand trial this month. He was moved to Category A prison, Belmarsh, and that's where he remains today. 6. Ali Harvey Ali On the 15th of October 2021, Sir David Amos, a British Conservative Party politician and Member of Parliament, lost his life after being stabbed multiple times. Ali Harbour Ali, a 25-year-old British man and Islamic State sympathiser, was arrested at the scene. He was found guilty of murder and the preparation of terrorist acts in April 2022. He was sentenced to life imprisonment with a whole life order. He serves his time in Belmarsh Prison today. 7. David Copeland in 1999, there were a series of nail bomb explosions in London over three weekends between the 17th and the 30th of April. Each bomb contained up to 1,500 four-inch nails. They were left in holdalls that were left in public spaces. The bombs killed three people and injured 140 people, four of whom lost limbs. On the 2nd of May, the same year, the Met Police anti-terrorist branch charged 22-year-old David Copeland with the murders. He became known as the London Nail Bomber. He was a former member of the British National Party and the National Socialist Movement. The bombings were aimed at London's black, Bengali and LGBTQ plus communities. On the 30th of June 2000, Copeland was convicted of three counts of murder and planting bombs he was given six life sentences. The judge doubted that it would ever be safe to release him. 
In March 2007, the High Court decided that Copeland should remain in prison for at least 50 years. He appealed in 2011, but this was rejected. In 2014, Copeland attacked a fellow inmate at Belmarsh Prison with an improvised weapon. In October 2015, he pleaded guilty to wounding with an intent and was sentenced to a further three years in prison. He will serve 80 months on top of his 50 year sentence. He remains serving his time in Belmarsh Prison today. 8. Louis de Soisa He was arrested on the 25th of September 2020 for drug offences and possession of ammunition and taken to the Croydon Custody Centre in a police vehicle. Sergeant Matt Rotana approached the suspect to assist in a search. De Soisa shot him before being tackled to the ground. Sergeant Matt Rotana was taken to hospital but died from his gunshot wounds. No police firearms were discharged during the incident. A non-police revolver was recovered from the scene, which had been missed in the initial pat-down. He had previously been referred to the PREVENT program, an anti-extremism program developed by the government in an attempt to prevent individuals from joining extremist groups and carrying out terrorist activities. On the 27th of July 2023, he was sentenced to life imprisonment with a whole life order. He still remains in Belmarsh Prison today. Other infamous inmates include David Carrick, a former Met Police officer, who was sentenced in 2023 to life imprisonment for multiple counts of R between 2002 and 2021. Sarah Everard murderer Wayne Cousins, who was given a whole life order but moved to Franklin Prison who was also another Met Police officer. Ian Huntley, who murdered Holly Wells and Jessica Chapman. He was later moved to Franklin Prison. Delroy Grant, who was given a life sentence for serial R-ing between 1992 and May 2009. And unfortunately, many more. Thanks for watching. Until next time.